have a minus sign. Whereas the other one had a plus sign. And that should have been squared, right? So let's just look at some examples. And once again, we're just squaring things, you know. Like 5 times 5 is 25. We're just squaring numbers. You know, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So now we got A minus B times A minus B, which is equal to A squared. You're going to fool it first, right? Minus AB minus AB plus B squared. A times A is A squared. A times negative B is negative AB. Negative B times A is negative AB. Negative times a negative is a positive. B times B is B squared. Com combine your like terms. A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. If you can figure out how to do this, you don't even have to memorize the formula. What you can do is, on the test, work this little problem out. And voila, you have your formula. So let's look at some more examples here. And we're going to use this formula. So you, let's say if we have x minus 5, and we're going to square that, right? Well, you've got x minus 5 times x minus 5. Well, you can certainly fool that out. So you get x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25. Then by combining your like terms, you got x squared minus 10x plus 25. Or you can take our formula that we came up with, right? Square your first term, which would be x squared. Multiply these together and double it. So x times negative 5 is a negative 5x. Negative 5x times 2 is a negative 10x. They multiply this, or square this last term here. So negative 5 times negative 5 is a plus 25. Be careful, if you put it in your calculator this way, you'll get a negative 25, which is wrong. Put it in your calculator this way. Just keep that in mind. A lot of people make, make that mistake. So let's write a formula down. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? If you don't memorize it, just re remember this form here. And you can always create the formula yourself. All right, next, let's look at, um, let's try this one. What if you had 6a minus 1? You want to square it. Well, you, certainly you could always do this. And you fool it out. We're not going to fool it out. We're just going to take our first term and square it. And we're going to have get 36a squared. We're going to multiply these two numbers. So you got 6a times a negative 1, which is a negative 6a. We're going to multiply that by 2. And we're going to get a negative 12a. Take our negative 1 and square it, and we get plus 1. So see how much quicker it is if you know this formula, or you can come up with it. Look at one more example. We'll make this one a little bit more complicated, because that's how we like to do things, right? Start off at something simple, and then make it complicated. Just remember this is 4C times a... Ah, I don't know why I'm writing there. 4C minus 3D times... 4c minus 3d. It's not, and some people will put this as an answer, resist the temptation because that's wrong. You know, remember that you're going to full, full it out, right? So, and your final answer should reflect that, but we're going to take our first number. Let's go ahead and write, write this down before I forget it. Let's take our first number, we're going to square it, which would be 16 c squared that's a 16 take these two numbers and multiply them together so they'll be 4c times 3d which is 12cd then we're going to multiply that by 2 just where we're getting 24cd and we're going to subtract 24cd and then we're going to square this last number to give us 9d squared if you wrote it this way, same thing, right? 
those are those are the same thing and that's the uh, difference of or no, not the difference of square but that's a, a perfect square trinomial with the minus sign so good luck with it do some practice problems and you'll figure it out pretty quick